The field of 68 is set. Now we wait for the 2015 NCAA tournament to begin. To help us break down our brackets, I'm joined by the one and only Mr. Seth Davis. And Seth, let's start with the number one overall seed. That would be the Kentucky Wildcats, still undefeated. And looking at that Midwest region, Seth, who could get in the way of the Wildcats' path to perfection? Well, I start with Notre Dame. Uh, you know, Notre Dame or Kansas, whoever they would play in the Elite Eight, I think would be able to hang with Kentucky. For Kentucky, that's really uh, when the tournament is going to start. Even Maryland as a Sweet 16. But Notre Dame, to me, Shea, is the team that obviously played well down the stretch, won the ACC tournament. And the reason why I like the Irish is they can make three-pointers and they can make jump shots. One thing that we know is you are not going to be able to beat Kentucky by scoring at the rim. You've got to shoot over them and you've got to make over them. Notre Dame is one of those teams teams that can and then once they get to the final four it's gonna you know they're gonna have to win two difficult games to get there Arizona to me if that is their final four opponent would certainly give them a, a, a decent test a, a tough test I think if Kentucky's gonna move on speaking of number one seed Seth the others Villanova Wisconsin and Duke give me a one seed that you believe will not make the final four well, I would take Villanova. I mean, I think of those four teams, if I were to rank them, in fact, if I were to rank the entire field just as an AP voter based on who I think is good or not good, I would actually put Arizona ahead of Villanova in terms of uh, the quality of the team. That's not a knock on Villanova. They've had a tremendous season. They've only lost two games. They've got a ton of quality wins. Many of them have come inside the Big East. So the Big East really did its job for a team like Villanova. But I look at, you know, Villanova's region, Michigan State and Virginia hanging at the bottom of the bracket, which would be a terrific Sweet 16 game. Whoever emerges from that, I think, would be a tough opponent. And then uh, during the selection show, I actually picked Northern Iowa uh, to go to the Final Four. They have a player in Seth Tuttle, who I think is an All-America caliber player. It's capable of scoring a lot of points, but he can do everything. He leads his team in points, rebounds, and assists. He's an excellent three-point shooter. He's an excellent free throw shooter, and he's an excellent leader. The type of team and player who can carry a team uh, deep into the bracket. Well, Seth, I think you just hit on this, mentioning Northern Iowa, but is there an underdog or a lower seed that can go on a run and derail title hopes for a top seed? Well, I have Northern Iowa going to the Final Four, so they come to mind. But I would also uh, keep your eye on SMU, Larry Brown, at the ripe young age of uh, 73 years old. Uh, of course, they were the big surprise last year not getting into the tournament. They have a Shabazz Napier kind of player in Nick Moore, who is a points guard, if you will, a point guard who can really light it up, and a variety of very versatile big men, and, and their versatility is at both ends of the floor, and of course we know that he can coach, and I think, you know, getting Gonzaga as a two in that region, Shay, you know, Gonzaga coming out of the West Coast Conference, you have to question again whether they have been tested enough to be able to go into the NCAA tournament and do well. So if you're looking for a lower-seeded team to take a chance on and advance further than some of your other friends in your office pool, I think SMU is a pretty good bet. Finally, looking at a two or three seed in this tournament, which team has the toughest road to get to an Elite Eight or a Final Four? Well, how about Kansas? Uh, first of all, having the great fortune of being in that number two seed in Kentucky's region. That was the one spot that nobody uh, among the top teams wanted. But then if you look at their road just to get uh, to an Elite Eight, first of all, potentially having to play Wichita State, uh, which Kansas has avoided uh, playing the Shockers, and the Shockers would really be uh, have their ears pinned back, uh, if you will, to get at the Kansas Jayhawks. And then should they be able to get uh, into the uh, Sweet 16, whether they play Butler or Notre Dame, I think they play Notre Dame, a team fresh off an ACC tournament title. And then if they beat Notre Dame, congratulations, you get to play the Kentucky Wildcats. So if Kentucky, uh, if Kansas gets to Indianapolis, we will know that they have very much earned their spot. Seth Davis, thanks so much for the insight. Thank you, Shay. And for more surrounding the NCAA tournament, including a breakdown of all 68 teams, keep it here, campusinsiders.com.